Exercise 14. Journalize the following merchandising transactions for Chiller Systems, assuming it uses a perpetual inventory system. On November 1st, Chiller Systems purchases merchandise for $1,000 on credit with terms of 2.5 net 30. FOB shipping point, the invoice was dated November 1st. The journal entry to record the purchase on account, debits merchandise inventory, and credits accounts payable. On November 5th, Chiller System pays cash for the November 1st purchase. They're paying within the discount period, which means they'll receive the 2% discount. The journal entry to record payment of the account payable is a debit to accounts payable for the $1,000, credit merchandise inventory for 2% of $1,000, $20, and credit cash for $980. And on November 7th, Chiller System discovers and returns $160 of defective merchandise purchased on November 1st for a cash refund. Chiller Systems has already paid the invoice, but they've paid 98 cents on the dollar. On November 7th, the cash receipt will be 98% of $160, $157, and credit merchandise inventory. On November 10th, Chiller System pays $50 in cash for transportation costs with the November 1st purchase. The terms were FOB shipping point, title transferred to Chiller Systems on November 1st so Chiller Systems is responsible for paying the freight. The journal entry increases the value of the inventory, debiting merchandise inventory $50 and credits cash. On November 13th, Chiller Systems sells merchandise for $1,080 on credit. The cost of the merchandise is $540. Remember, whenever there's a sale under the perpetual inventory system, there will always be two journal entries simultaneously. The first one records the sale, debit accounts receivable, and credit sales. And simultaneously, we'll relieve the inventory database of its cost, debiting cost of goods sold, $540, and crediting merchandise inventory. On November 16th, the customer returns merchandise from the November 13th transaction. The returned items sell for $260 and cost $90. There are two journal entries to process this sales return. The first one is a debit to the Contra Revenue Account Sales Returns and Allowances for $260 and a credit to Accounts Receivable. When we credit Accounts Receivable, we stop billing our customer. The second journal entry restores the cost of the units back to inventory. The journal entry is a debit to Merchandise Inventory for the cost of the units, $90, and a credit to Cost of Goods Sold. 